It smells like, oh my God, my nose is itchy. All right, hey guys, so I went to Sephora yesterday and I picked up some stuff that I wanted to pick up that I've been hearing about, like the new Fenty stuff and um, this like lip balm that I heard is really good for your lips. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quick what I got. Um, so I did get the Fenty Beauty new um, hydrating longwear foundation. I'm hoping that this one works better for my skin because the first foundation she dropped did not work for my skin at all. Like it was so drying and it just cracked all the time. So I'm hoping this one will be better. I also picked up the Soft Matte Pro Long, is it Pro Long? No, Mini Insta Retouch Primer Pro Filter by Fenty as well. I picked up the small one just because I wanna try it and see if it works out before I commit to like the big one. I've been using Too Faced's Hangover Primer that's been working it's super hydrating but i wanted to give this one a try and then i got the lip balm i was talking about i don't know how to pronounce the what is it the brand's name but yeah i got it in the color berry so maybe it'll be a darker tint and i also picked up the catnap universal under eye brightener by this new brand i saw there um We'll see how this works. I guess it's kind of like a concealer eye brightener. Um, but yeah. And I got that one in the color Woke. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to do my makeup and then I'll check in with you guys throughout the day to see how it held up. My dog still... Okay, bye. Okay, so I start out with the Burt's Bees Day Lotion Intense Hydration. Um, I have really dry skin i'm sorry i keep looking this way i have really dry skin and this has been helping a lot i have really dry skin in my t-zone but this has been helping me a lot i'm gonna keep mentioning dry skin but yeah it's been helping a lot with my dry skin so i just apply that Okay, so once it's dry, I would put on my primer. I've been using the Too Faced Hangover, like I mentioned, but I've also been using the NARS Radiance Primer. Um, it has SPF 35 in it, which I really liked. So we're gonna be trying out the new Fenty one. This is the mini bottle. I didn't wanna buy the big one yet. I'm just gonna like two pumps I think that should be enough put it on my face rub it in with my fingers I'm gonna be looking over here because this is where my mirror is it smells it smells really good like fresh if that makes any sense I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Dirty Beauty Blender. I need to wash it. And we're going to try out the new Fenty foundation. This is what the bottle looks like. Um, super good, super cute. So, I usually just squirt some on the back of my hand. There we go. Did about three pumps. It smells like foundation. Then I just dab it all over my face and then blend it in. First thing I am realizing, I might have gotten the wrong color. Actually, I don't know. Well, so yeah, first thing first, I feel like maybe I got a sh one shade too dark. Am I 
like looking kind of orange, brown, yellow. This is a weird one. Not sure if I got the right color or not, but we're just gonna go with it for the sake of today. And um, if I did get the wrong color, but I will. If I did get the wrong color, I might just go back and switch it out. But so far, so good. Next is gonna be the under eye brightener. If I can get it open. Yes, the under eye brightener. This is what the little bottle looks like. It's actually really cute. So, a lot of people would put under eye brighteners under their foundation. Maybe I should have done that, but I'm just gonna put it on top. And I probably should have put it under because it is super pink. Well, it is what it is. And lastly, I'm going to try out the lip balm. First thing first, it smells. It smells like um, like some bubble gum. I don't know. I kind of want to eat it. Okay. So that is all the stuff I bought. I am gonna finish doing my makeup and then I'll come back. Okay, so I finished my makeup. <laughs> There's birds chirping outside. I finished my makeup and. The only thing that I can tell that um, the makeup, makeup wise, is under my eyes. Um, I saw a bit of creasing already. Um, other than that, it just looks like super light. Um, maybe like a BB cream almost, a foundation. That's what it feels like and looks like. Um, Granted, I could have doubled up on the foundation if I wanted a more intense, like, high coverage. But usually I just wear, like, medium to light coverage, CC creams, BB creams. So this doesn't feel too bad. It actually doesn't even feel like I'm wearing anything. But yeah, I'll check up with you guys in a bit to see how it's holding up. Oh, my eyebrow. Okay. So I'm at the mall now and I'm doing an update. My eyes are still creased and everything else looks fine. I kind of just look super dewy. Alexa. I like it. It still looks like skin. <laughs> Your face. Do I look high? So it's been how many hours? It has not been eleven hours. It's been like five hours or more, and everything's pretty much good except the under eye. That shit's gone. Yeah, that's why the brightener. It's gone, but the foundation. Still good. So I approve. <laughs>